In today's episode, I talk about my new Triton TR176. Yeah, this is my new boat and I'm gonna be fishing off this boat. My little uh, boat called The Office. Um, I do still have it and um, I will still use it in the future. Yeah, this boat, it's just a lot easier to fish off of and um, it's a lot more comfortable. I can fish on really big dams and I don't have to worry about hippos or crocodiles. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. So I'm gonna go from the bow all the way to the stern of the boat and I'll show you guys all the good stuff that this Triton has to offer. All right, okay, so at the back. Let's start off at the back. So the back of this boat, it's got a Mercury EFI 200 on the back. It's a very uh, oldish motor, but it's still very, very good. It's in really good nick. I can't complain, this is a V6, so it's got plenty, plenty power. Yeah, it's fitted with a hydrofoil the 300 SE Sport and um, down at the bottom I've got a 25 uh, pitch tem tempus plus. This boat also what is very nice has been fitted with a jack plate. It is not a automatic or hydraulic jack plate. This is just a manual jack plate. So if you need to you can set it to any height that you really want. Um, I think that this boat at the moment is set to its perfect uh, setting so I'm not going to be touching it because I've actually bought this from a guy that actually did competition fishing and obviously competition fishermen they needed to run the best it, it possibly can as fast as it possibly can to make it more efficient. See the guy that had it before he put this um, decking on the back which makes it I would say cool you know it's a non-slip material. Yeah it just uh, finishes off the the nice bum that this Triton has and another cool thing that I did not mention and which I completely forgot is that when you actually fall off your boat so this Triton it actually comes with a little ladder so put that out and then you just flip these. Where's the other one? There it is. Basically, so if you fall off the boat, you can literally step, you can literally step on this and you can climb back on the boat with no hassle. Yeah, so this boat's a 2006 model, so it is relatively old. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good looking shape of this boat. It's very, very nice. Let's dive into the back hatch and I'll show you guys what's in there. Oil tank, which is right in the middle. So this is a two stroke motor. All right, so these two batteries, these are the batteries which control the electronics and the trawler motor and obviously all the bilge pumps, aerator for the for the live wells and obviously also the in and out for the live well. Um, on this side we've got our cranking battery. Um, this here is the um, the charging unit. So it's actually the original Triton char charging unit which is quite cool. Um, I think I'm going to keep that in there for quite a while before I chain, change over to Victron chargers. Um, over here you can actually see um, here's a switch which actually is your um, I think this is all this is your see I'm not too sure this is your switch for your engine so if that's off then you can't swing swing the motor and when it's on you can this switch is basically just there so that it's a safe safe safety thing which is very very nice but here's another switch this switch here is um, specifically for all your electronics so if you turn this switch off then nothing works so your trawler motor doesn't work your bilge pumps don't work your aerator doesn't work and your in and out for your water outflows or inflows don't work so you've got to turn this guy on before you can use any electronics 
that's basically the back like I say I'm not 100% sure how to use all of that yet but uh, let's get on the boat and then I'll show you guys what's in the actual hatches so the first hatch um, I've actually put some stuff in there already and um, this hatch I, I'm gonna keep all my dry clothing in here, dry shoes, life jackets, and ropes, and just miscellaneous things. And as you guys can see, you can actually put planos in here, and they fit perfectly in there. I think you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planos in there, which is quite nice. So yeah, all the hatches come with lights. Um, like I say, this boat's quite old, so. There are no um, lights at the moment. I have to change all of those out to LED. But I'll be doing that uh, quite soon just so that the boat runs a little bit more efficiently and also when it's dark. On this side, I've got the exact same. So um, it's the same configuration. It's basically this and that are exactly the same. As you guys can see, you can fit planos in perfectly. They are got some more rope and then I got my bung, my bung plugs to actually go into the back. As you can see, there's, there's the light. They actually don't work, like I say, but that's not such a big issue. Um, another really nice thing which um, this boat has and every bass fishing boat should have is live wells. Two hatches here, two doors. I've got two doors here, one and then another one here. And as you guys can see, this is a extremely big lav, lav well down there and it goes all the way through here. So as you guys can see, hello. So yeah, those are the lav wells. Going from the bow into the center of the boat, um, there's not much to it really. It's just two seats basically. So I'm sitting in the passenger seat right now. These seats are extremely comfortable. As you guys can see, this is the driver's seat. And um, I think they are still the original Triton seats. If you guys are watching this and you guys own a Triton, let me know if they are. Uh, because they feel very, very nice and they're still very, very soft. So yeah, this is the passenger seat. As you guys can see, you can hold on really nicely here. There's like a little handle here which you can actually pull out and then you can hold onto it while you're driving. So basically you'll hold onto this handle, this handle right here, and then you'll hold onto that handle with this hand and you'll hold it up like that to try and keep yourself in the seat Bass fishermen drive like hooligans and they're crazy. Into the driver's seat. The driver's seat's basically pretty much the same. Here's my, my throttle that's basically engaging the gears. And I've actually got a hot foot, which is really nice, which is here. You know, here are all my switches for, the, for all the controls. At the moment, they're not working. And then I got some more on this side. As you guys can see, that's my my center console, my speed here, which is in miles per hour at the moment. This is my RPM, also from, from American, as you guys can see there, it's got your trim and tilt and all that. Then I got my water pressure, and then I got my voltage. So those all do work, which is very nice. And then on the side here, I got my trim and tilt which is also really, really cool, as you guys can see there. So it makes my life a lot easier when, when I'm driving this boat. Um, I've got my cooler box, but it's a really, really deep cooler box. It actually goes all the way down to, to the bottom. I can get a lot of refreshments in there, food and all that good stuff that you do need for a fishing trip. There's another hatch here. So that hatch actually fits four planos 
they fit per per perfectly in there and then there's a ton of space in the back there i don't know if you guys can even see that but it goes very deep that's basically my front hatch so it's a little bit of a strange build like you can only get four plain planers in the back and then you actually fill the back it kind of can work out because you can just put the stuff that you don't need um, that much in the back and you put the stuff that you'll use on the fly all the time like i would think your terminal tackle and maybe your favorite lures that you're going to be using throughout the day okay coming over to the first uh, rod hatch so yeah here what i've done is that's the first rod hatch and i don't know if you guys know these these are those six cents bait bait bags so i actually keep all my plastics on this side i think it just makes life a little bit easier so i've got um i don't really want to go through what i take with but i've got one two three four five uh bait bait bags and then i keep my spinning rods on this side maybe i'll also keep some spare rods if i need and um, i'll be very honest the rod hatches are a bit small so um, they all really like all the rods really cramp up all the way in the front but it does work then uh, on this side i've got a rod buckle which is also really really nice like i say this boat is quite old as you guys can see it's got some it's got some marks and everything on it but for a 2006 model and me um fishing it in 2022 going into 2023 it's in it's in really really good condition and i can't complain in the other hatch these are your tools to catch bass i've got all my rods in there so i've got nine bait casters in here and there's still much more space uh, what i like about these is like these lids are actually aluminium so they're very strong, very, very well built boat. So yeah, I'm gonna do some small little mod modifications to the actual boat. Like I actually wanna change some of these um, hydraulic shocks. Like you can see here, this one's white and um, this one is black. This one's actually fairly new. And then if you heard that, I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is on these seams here, I'm gonna put like a soft rubber which actually prevents the the hatches from slamming i don't really like that you know when you're fishing you want to be quiet you want to be stealthy you want to be a little bit more quiet i have another rod buckle here another cool thing what i do like about the boat is it has little cleats so you can tie it to a jetty which we don't have much of in south africa uh, i got one on that side i got one on this side and i got two at the back it's not very very necessary here in south africa but um, i'm pretty sure it'll come handy soon i can i can already tell all right okay well while i was just stepping out my gas tank is here petrol tank not gas it does say gas on there but we're in south africa and uh, we we say petrol so yeah petrol tank is here and um, the petrol tank is actually in the middle and that is due to it being perfectly balanced all right so the front of the boat so it's not a great trawler motor so this is the minkota fortrex it is actually the previous model of the ultrex so it does not have spot lock and as you guys can see it's been dinged up already it's quite an old trawler motor it does the, it'll do the job apparently the guy that uh, had this before me he's been fishing with it for a very long time and it's working so that's all that i really care about it's a 80 pound um, trawler motor i think i think um, i think it looks really really nice i think it's a very nice sleek shape as you guys can see there in the okay up here is the foot pedal this is just a normal um, encoder foot foot pedal this is actually the one that came with this um, Ford with the Fortrex here's your up and down tilt and this year I'm not too sure what this is but I would reckon I could use this for like my electronics and all that type of stuff you guys have realized I don't have one single fish finder on here so leave comments down below if you guys want to sell fish finders or you guys know what's a very affordable but very good trawl trawler motor um yeah i'm in the market to buy 
some fish founders. Yeah, it doesn't have fan, fan, fancy wheels. The guy that actually owned it, he said, what's the point of having low profile tires on a bass boat, especially here in South Africa. We drive on a lot of dirt roads. So South Africa has a lot of potholes as well. So it's actually perfect. I'm very happy that they are like, like that. Firstly, they are a lot cheaper if you do seem to get a puncture of some sort. But yeah, um, that's basically it. Leave in the comments down below if I've missed, some, missed something. Yeah, this is my Triton TR176. I think it's a very sick boat. It's a very cool little, little boat. It's age, it's in pretty good condition and I'm very happy with what it looks like. And I hope that it performs as well as what people have said a Triton does. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments down below. Maybe you guys can start putting suggestions in the comments to actually name this boat. I know that my last boat I named The Office. That was a sick name and um, I didn't really use the boat too much. It's much better for like smaller venues but there aren't that many places out there that have smaller dams. So now this boat I can take on bigger dams like Whitbank, Gristavinta, Lost Corp, all those places, Rudokopis and it gives me the opportunity to actually fish this more often. Um, me getting this boat doesn't mean that I'm not going to be fishing bank anymore. Of course I'm going to be doing a lot of bank, bank fishing content as well. But I'm going to start doing a lot more boat content. For all of you guys, the boat content is it's a new step and it's a new level to bass fishing. And I want to get to that stage. Hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, comment down below, and I'll check you guys on another episode of Bassing with Sasha.